I am somewhat still in time, right? Somewhat. We hadn't gotten started yet, but now Twitch can hear us. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> A beautiful way to start out. <laughs> Now yeah, with Nari. Perfect time for me to talk about my right-wing, uh, right-leaning political views. <laughs> hey, Twitch, go beep yourself. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So, one thing I do want to say, just in case anybody does watch this later who's not in this group, uh, just potential trigger warning, if uh, involuntary self-harm is something that triggers you, you probably don't want to watch this episode for some reason that I will dis that everybody else will learn later. Wait, what? Give... Don't worry about it. <clears throat> that was for that was for the YouTube YouTube guidelines down the road. So don't, don't you don't need to worry I mean, about it right now, Nexus. I also, mean, have Nexus we just meant to beat yourself with love? Uh, by, love the way, by the I way, was... should I set a timer for five minutes? Because then we know when we can start cursing. Uh no, I don't care. You know, I don't care. No, it's, but, but it's because you get demonetized if it's within the first five minutes. I'm not monetized anyways. I don't care. But we, we will be. be. We could be. Speaking oh, of which, no, this we won't be. session is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I swear I we do this joke. I swear we do I this joke so often. At some point. If it actually happens, it'll be hilarious. Uh, just, imagine, just imagine you get this letter. So you've mentioned us a lot. It's it's not a letter. Those are called cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> they can send all the cease and desist letters they want. I can't read. <laughs> Actually, what 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 is the legal ramification in that case? If you literally send a cease and desist letter to someone who's literate, illiterate. Um, Does that count? I, I, I you think... walk over to them and read it out loud. No, yeah, but... you, you, so your legal requirement is to notify them in writing. If they cannot um, read it, that's kind of on them. Oh, now, when they go to court, mean. when they go to court over it, the court would provide somebody to assist with that. The court has to do that, but the person sending the cease and desist does not. Okay, I'm just linking our game to those to those friends I have. I know who wants to watch it. Oh no. Oh my! Wow, you have friends that are, are they still going to be your friends after they watch this session? Yeah, um, one so. of them, uh, you, you remember the guy who I showed you had uh, had written to me about the game? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's gone back and started rewatching all our episodes. Oh no! Wow, he's actually a fan. Oh no! <laughs> oh hey! So by, um, by, by all means, tell tell him I only charge three fifty uh, for an autograph. I mean, you do know that he's likely going to be watching tonight, right? Yeah, that's the best part ever. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Abe. Tell him I only charge him free, uh, 350 for a batch of hot wings. Is that for... in dollars, euros, or Danish crowns? Yes. And $3.50. Yes, yes. I, I actually do have a question. You said $3.50, and you said a batch. How much is in a batch? Uh, between six to nine. That's not a bad deal. Yeah, no. I'd take that. What sort of spice are we going with here? And is there dipping? Well, are you providing be... sides? There's a creamy uh, dip. No, it'll, be, it'll be slightly spicy with the uh, barbecue sauce, but dips you'll have to take care of yourself. Can you hear that we're trying to avoid the cell phone? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to work. Because it's none of your characters that are being self-armed. Anyways, let's Aww. go ahead and get today's session going. <laughs> when last we left our heroes, Nate the Human Rager gobs the Goliath Hexblade, Otho Gent the life Lizard Folk Life Domain Cleric, Tala the Half-Orc Druid, and Abraham Grissom the Human Wizard. We'd finally been re reunited with our long lost friend Tala after a visit to the Fey Realm. We got back home. Uh, everybody went to kind of relax and decompress. At which point, Abraham decided to take a trek home, and he ran into an old, old friend. And my notes are missing. Again, I'm terrible at this. You would think. Tinder. Timber. Timber. Third yeah. week in a row. I know. I, it's like my brain just stopped working on his name. So that's when he ran into Kimber, who is the owner of the ship Triton, uh, which was the ship you guys took out on your initial voyage together as a group and found the Ethereum Sanctuary. And he ditched. What? He ditched us. 
Well, it didn't ditch you so much as the entire ocean exploded. And you were down there quite a lot. I still blame him. That's perfectly fine. So, that's where we're going to pick up. And if I remember correctly, it was fairly early in the day. Yep. And Abraham had gone back to his house, and the rest of you were still at the Yes, because we were having eggs and bakey. Oh, man, bacon sounds good. Bakey, wakey, <laughs> eggs and bakey. Exactly. And I had a good lunch, but eggs and bacon now sound delicious. So it's awful. But so that's where we'll pick up. So who is doing what? Well, Ophogend is keeping an eye on uh, Tala to make sure he doesn't uh, meddle with her microscope. <laughs> oh, man. Because that equipment is worth more than the rest of the clinic. So this would be just after breakfast, right? Seems yes. so. I think yep. so, yeah. In that case, like uh, like that, uh, just outside the main door, having a smoke before getting back in to actually answer the phone. Because... You know, work. <laughs> That's a thing we need to do sometimes. Yep. And I'm still playing the pan flute. All right, still playing the pan flute. Anything else anybody else is doing for this uh, during this time frame? Uh, I'm going to ask Otho Kent whether he wants me to get to work or not <laughs> already, because he offered me a job. <laughs> well, sure. Just give me a moment. Overkind is going to be writing a list and uh, be handing a uh, well, small herbal book over to uh, to his dear new employee and say, all right, so I'll need these, and they're on these pages. All right? All right. All right, go ahead and give me a um, a check with your herbalism kit, please. Oh, oh yeah. Was- Okay. Uh, where is it? There it is. So you know most of these by sight already. There's a couple new ones in here. Um, mm-hmm. You're not really sure if these are things you can go and pick around here outside of the aquatic-based ones. Um, but maybe it's something you could take a, take a trip to the market and, and pick up. I have not been in Neep yet, so I ha- I haven't actually been outside of the, you know, clinic yet either. So I have no idea what I'm gonna find outside. Well, you would have you would have uh, gotten a ride down the um. I'm trying to think, am I remember that right? No, no, you're right. You guys haven't no. been outside the clinic at all, have you? No, that's no. right. So, nope. so yeah. So Tala yep. has no idea what surroundings are even there. Yep. Like, are we in the woods? Are we not? I heard there was a harbor. That's about it. We're in the middle of Neep. Yeah. yeah. Not, not so as much as... <laughs> now, if only you had some locals to ask. Yeah. If only. Well, I'm going to step outside first and foremost. Okay, so you step outside. Uh, you're right next to Nate, who's playing on his pipes. And you begin to see, you know, all the huddled buildings, the immediate uh, scent of that uh, sea spray, uh, salty, salty tang to the air. Um, you know, you can hear the, the seabirds chirping and flying over, uh, hear the distant waves crashing, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. As you look over behind you, you see the uh, upper sales level hanging out from the wall. Um, so all of this, this is more houses, more people, more stuff than you've ever seen growing up in the small um, uh, logging town that you grew up in. Mm-hmm. But there's no greenery around at all, right? Uh, not that you can see, not from here. 
you can smell mosses and molds and that kind of stuff quafting up from the floorboards that you're standing on um, as you go outside because you're basically on like a dock. Uh, uh, so you can smell that coming up from below. So it kind of sounds like it smells like a salty version of, of the old boat dock everywhere you go. This is a very unpleasant place. Nate, you are right there, and you hear her say this, so you can interact as appropriate if you'd like. It's certainly very much different than uh, what we're used to, isn't it? Where's all the plants? And Certainly I... not here. Clearly. They uh, have some uh, plants on the upper deck. So am I supposed to get these herbs on the upper deck? As I show them which ones are not How the aquatic have I ones. Actually, uh, herb gather while of... Say that for me again. How much have I actually been herb gathering uh, while I've been here for the last half year? Uh, not a ton. Most of the plants that you're gonna find are gonna be in these dedicated nurseries where they grow like mangrove yeah. trees. Uh, lilies, that kind of stuff. There's a desalination plant that also has a small freshwater pond for growing stuff in. Yes, we uh, we can't go up to uh, the upper decks to gather stuff that we want. There are places here we can uh, go to. Why can't, can't you go around. to the upper deck? Uh, it's for the rich people and privileged. Uh huh. So, uh, yeah, that's that's not me. I feel like I'm privileged at home, but I don't think that works here. Yeah, that that's uh. I, that's a whole different uh, ballpark uh, here. The um, the amount of money going around is very different. Yeah, but any to... one of the like lower level merchant princes, you know, that don't even live on the sales level, any one of them probably has more wealth than your entire village put together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they put don't put them uh, in their us in their eyes. Um, I can show you over to some of the nursery and whatnot. And have some of the plants. That would very much be appreciated. Well, let's go. All right. So where you guys are headed to? Go ahead and look at a map that, ironically enough, Nari made for us. Um, yes, this, I did no such thing. Uh, Me too. Do I see them leave, or are they leaving out the back? I thought they were leaving out the front. Yeah, I, I stepped out of the front where Nate was still playing music. I was out the front smoking. Yeah. I thought you were answering phones. I said I was out the front smoking and then into answering phones, meaning that whenever I was done with that. Gotcha. Because I don't know how long of a time frame you want us to describe for. No, no, no. That's perfectly fine. I was also playing with sound because I remembered suddenly that I was told that Nari was too quiet last week, so I was messing with that, and I may have missed that. Um, uh, so, okay. so, yeah, you would have heard that whole conversation as well, if you'd like, to interject anything. Um, no, I'm just going to say stay safe out there. You too. Thank you. I'll try. Only do what I would. What, That's so quite a lot. Not come into work for a month? Oi. Oh. Hey, what? What? No, it, Shots that, fired. It wasn't my fault. How is not going to work for a month not your fault? Were you sick? I was gone. All of us were gone. We were so... in the ocean. Cops, 
You mean? There's no gobs there to respond. <laughs> but yes, he is. Perfect. 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 All right. So where you're headed is just off of here, just past the power plant. So it is a bit of a walk. They've got a, um, a, like a, a dammed off area of water here that they put out to output some fresh water uh, for growing plants and food. And then they've got a, it's not like, like, concreted off but like roped off like with the floating net buoys a set of like yeah. mangroves and and seawater uh lilies and and grasses and stuff that grow here so um i'd say it's probably about 9 30 10 o'clock in the morning it'll probably take you about an hour to get there um because you have to you know you have to go through the market to get up there and go around the university and all of that so it is a bit of a walk yeah so that'll keep you two occupied for a bit. Um, let's see. So I'm going to say that the day kind of kind of continues as normal. Uh, here's what I want. Let's see. What's the best role for this? Death save. All right, Gobs, give me a death saving throw. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I'm going to say. Why am, why am I being blamed for this? Give me a performance check. Wait, who are you asking for a performance check? You. Oh, you, okay. Gobs. Oh, just for answering phones? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was fully expecting that to be intimidate. <laughs> Please, no. I'm not a good at this. <laughs> no, okay, performance check. Let's see. Uh, performance, performance, performance. There. Yeah, so you sound like the annoyed person that's working at Walmart. So it's not particularly great, but not particular particularly bad. Um, and then there are three patients that are going to come in throughout the day. Uh, so I need from Othokent, I need three medicine checks. All right. Good luck. So, you know, I am just going to abuse my divine privilege and upon myself before every exam. Cast guidance. Perfectly fine. Can we just talk about the visual of that? Doing like, <laughs> hey, Doc, what's wrong with me? Just a moment. Prayer. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, uh, here, I'll be happy to take a look at that. Dear Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give me guidance and knowledge to protect this child from his syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> It's that syphilis. <laughs> or it's cancer. <laughs> no, no. For guidance, you're just you just have WebMD pulled up on a computer. Uh-huh. Tell me your <laughs> symptoms. <laughs> Ooh, that's that'd be bane. Those rolls. Oof. Holy hell. Twelve? Oh. Eleven. And there we go. And twenty one. So oh. thankfully thankfully nothing you had come in today was too bad. Um you had a uh, a small tabaxi. Uh, a mm -hmm. child, uh, a little girl, uh, and she had an earache. Uh, so you were able to prescribe the antibiotics without too much of a problem. Um, and you uh, introduced them to the trick of using um, uh, sweet oil and heating it up and dropping it in the ears for, for some relief. Uh, the mm -hmm. second person was just a normal medical checkup. Um, you know, the, just their, their six-month doctor's visit. So that one wasn't too big of a deal. Now, the mm -hmm. last one... The last one, uh, when they came in, uh, they were complaining about being dizzy. Um, and you checked them out. At first, you thought they had a concussion. But when you start to look into it a bit more, you figure out that they've actually got an inner ear problem that's causing an imbalance. So you've referred them over to the student hospital uh, to see if they can uh, get them in for observation and for a potential surgery to fix that. So that was a bigger one. So you did a good job on that one. Great. So, I want you to roll a D100 for me. Hiya. You make 56 silver, because I don't think you would charge your patients gold. No, Ofo can't know his uh, business. That's why he makes a lot of his medicines himself and all that, is to keep it as cheap as possible. Awesome, it's, awesome. It's not American medical prices, it's European. 
Oh, it's European? You get paid nothing. You get paid nothing but the joy of having helped somebody. In fact, no, somehow you owe them money. I think you're underestimate how much a doctor actually makes. Not nearly as much as American doctors. I know that. Oh, that's true. true. <laughs> paid for, they're paid through the taxes here, so... Yeah, yeah, I know. It's all good. I just I was just teasing. Of so, <laughs> um, so I need... Uh, da, 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 da. Tala, if you can hear me, I know you have a small baby on your lap currently. Uh, as, I do. Uh, I need a, a survival check. Yeah. Or a herbalism kit, whichever's bigger. With advantage, because uh, Nate, Nate is helping you. Advantage. Uh, it gets uh, bigger when I pull it. Yeah, I'm going to do my herbalism thing. There we go. 21. All right, so you're able to get, I'd say, about three quarters of the list that, um, although Kent was able to provide to you, uh, just from from getting getting into those areas. It is a charge to go in. It's 10 silver to go into each of those areas, so 20 silver total uh, to go into the gardens and pick. Um, are you wanting to stop at the market on the way back to pick up the rest of the list? I will tr definitely try to do so, yeah. Okay, the, nothing he asked for was particularly extravagant or hard to find, uh, so I'd say it's another probably 25 silver um, for the remaining herbs that you weren't able to find. Okay. You're going to have to repeat the amount, I'm sorry. Baby got oh. taken away from my lap. Sure. I uh, t so oh. Nate, Nate okay. paid for for the things. Nate, are you also paying for the yes. stuff at the market? Okay. As you're leaving the market, you can start to see people kind of gathering around a uh, TV screen. Okay. Like a crowd is starting to gather, and you can hear concerned hushes and ooings, that kind of stuff. What's happening? Not a clue, but we can check. Yep. Go. Okay. Free as TV. you get, as you guys wander over, you hear kind of the murmuring and whatnot, and you can kind of look over and you can see it's kind of a kind of a bigger screen that's put up outside of uh, one of the electric pl market places there that sells electronics, kind of near the general store. Um, and you can see it's a newscast, um, and they say that an unidentified man has been found murdered. Um, and uh, crucified on a building in uh, in the north uh, part of the main uh, the mass level. Um, it had a it has a weird uh, message carved into the chest that just says, "I have the old man. Bring me the X one." Have old man bring me oh. the XI. Oh no. C. Uh, so. Well, that seems a bit much. The, the, and I will tell you, uh, Nate, when you look, it is not Abraham that's, that's crucified, it's somebody else. Yeah. Um, Somebody you don't recognize, you don't know who it was, but this so, this person has been nailed to literally to a wall, uh, and that message was carved in the chest, and they're talking about it on the newscast. So at this point, Nate would like to uh, pull out his phone and uh, contact uh, God, but canonically he doesn't have one. So, well, crap. We should I... probably hurry. Back, shouldn't yeah, we? Because you look uh, very concerned. That's related to uh, April and some stuff we did. We uh, we need to uh, go back and talk with the others. What kind of things did you get involved in? It was just a job, small job. Just a job? Yeah, just a retrieval. This is this is something way bigger than just yeah, a retrieval. Clearly. I, I don't know more than you. You're gonna have to start at the beginning of what the hell you guys did. Sure. 
This awesome. Kinda, so as as you guys are yeah, as you guys are speed walking back, I'll say that you quietly and discreetly bring her up to speed on exactly yeah. what all you guys ran into. And Nari, if I'm remembering correctly, you, you, yeah, you've watched all of those, so you know all that story, yeah. right? All right, cool. So yeah, so you're kind of up to speed on what's going on. I know about Doctor Facilier. Yeah, and you know about the Ethereum Sanctum that and too. yeah, the the time wibbly wobbly stuff. Yes. All right. Cool. Yes. <laughs> I mean, why me wibbly wobbly? Gunzi. Look, I'm just upset that I didn't get to hear the little one. I love little babies. They're the best. <laughs> Before they can I mean, start I talking can, back. I mean, I can, yeah, j- j- I can just, ask my mom to bring him back so he can bring, make noises. Yeah, bring him back and just give him one good squeeze. That's all we <laughs> need to hear. <laughs> no. As a note, we do not condone squeezing babies. It's 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 not not good. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that sends you to yes. prison. It's not an efficient using. <laughs> Uh, right? No, no, no. Ear, or it is. Or it is, and that's a problem. <laughs> I mean, he's making a lot of noises right now, but you can't hear it. Yeah, you squeeze a baby and juices start flowing, you're going to have a mess to clean up. Oh, um, well, well, my mom just had a mess to clean up with him anyway, so. Nice. 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 Oh, man. One of these days when you guys get older and start having babies, we'll get to, we'll get to exchange some fun stories. I mean, I work at a daycare. <laughs> I have a lot of stories. <laughs> Hey, look, let's just say when you have to change a number two diaper, sometimes you have to go digging poop out of some weird places. We'll just oh, leave it yes. at that. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, you're just like, why did it go there? No. <laughs> why well, is it behind no. your ear? Yeah. Well, you don't need babies for that. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, well, I'm not changing you any again, Doc. Not after last time. But sure, anyway, I'll ask my mom I'll... to bring him back. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. You don't have to bring <laughs> the baby back. Anyway, Wait, no, no, no I got the song again? stuck in my head. What? So I'm getting changed again. Bring back the baby. <laughs> baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Chili, baby, baby back. back ribs. All right. So ever so you you guys head back and you have arrived. You arrived just as the last patient baby. is leaving. So Nate, you you, you and Dollar are walking into the uh, clinic now. Yep. So, Gobs, I do believe we should work a little bit more on your customer service tone. What do you mean? That, that, that went well. I didn't offend anyone. No, you didn't, but it can sound like you're more interested in having them here, because I will be completely honest. It sounds like you were an annoyed cashier at Walmart. At what mart? It's something I heard somewhere. It sounded like you were more annoyed at. It's the store on the wall side of Neep. (laughs) Yeah. Next to you know that really crappy one that nobody goes to because it's right up against the wall and smells weird. (laughs) I now have a naked baby. (laughs) But yes, I I, yeah, it's your first day, so that's why I'm bringing it up to you, so we can work on it in the future. I am not scolding you. All right. It's simply in the way we want it to go. We like them to feel welcome. I mean, you should scold uh, her sometimes. Um. Anyways, uh, sorry uh, to uh, interrupt, but uh, there are some uh, issues. Uh, ha- have you seen the news? No, no but should I, I... Have definitely not had time for that. Um... No, should I go mix more laxatives? Well, no, but a man has been molested and crucified and, well... Huh? Um, molested? Well, Indeed. murdered. <laughs> that that and, that, uh, that is a very very different. Uh, violently no. inconvenient. Um. In any case, uh, it's a message from Kimber. I'm pretty uh, sure. Uh, he's uh, kidnapped uh, Abraham, and Kimber? he wants the uh, the ex. <sighs> Wait, do we remember do we as act- far as you guys knew he was dead? Yeah, I mean, do we, do do we know who who did that thing with the crucifixion though? Kimber. No, no. Yeah. I I think I think Nate may be making an assumption there, but I mean, wasn't he dead? Nate only has heard 
us getting that thing from one uh, for one person. Nate doesn't oh, know right. anyone else who is looking for it. Okay. Uh, hey. Do we know where he is? No clue. You guys I... can uh, find the news. See what you get out of it. I mean, when we got back, I remember I went by the uh, um, the place where he had his boat, and there was no one there. Correct. Yeah. That's why I'm telling you to pick out the news and see what you get out of it. All right. On the phone we go. So, what did you say? What did you say happened exactly? I need something to search for. Can't just search for the guy got crucified in the northern part of town. Okay, yeah, that's bound to make headlines. Crucified guy, and what part of town? Up north. North. No, not that kind of crucifix. Um, I will be saving that link though. Jeez. What are you um... finding exactly? Uh, don't you worry know. about it. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard for you to find it. And yeah, and the message just said the message that was carved into his skin was, "I have the old man. Bring me the X I." Which you would know is bring me the eleven. So what is the eleven? Is that you asking, or is that? Your character asking. That is Gob's asking out loud, like, what is the 11? Because she's a bit of a dumbass. <laughs> Guys, he grabbed a hold of my microphone. Oh, no. <laughs> I the microphone think it... will be consumed. <laughs> it almost was consumed. I got to stop him just in time. I think that's what we were sent to uh, acquire. Did we ever find that thing? I do not know. It broke, and we picked out the stuff that was inside. What was inside it? I, I'm sorry. I, I'm a bit out of it. What? I don't remember half of what happened that day. Was a long day. This is where my memory sounds. What? Hmm. My is that notes. Nexus or is that Nate saying that your memory's failing you? <laughs> or both? Well, both in this case, because me as a player actually forgot. So I'm trying All to right, find so, my notes. So whenever, whenever you guys, uh, and it was with Gob's help, actually, she had the crowbar. Uh, you pried open the protective case for Project 11. Inside were four uh, springs, motion dampening springs, and a a uh, cylinder of foam rubber, and when you peeled that open, there was a one inch by one inch by one inch glass cube that was cloudy to the to the sea. You could see through it uh, oh, yeah. if you held it up to your eye, but it was cloudy. Didn't Abraham grab that? Yeah, I... Wait, if Abraham, if Abraham had it, that means it's at his place, right? Maybe. I don't know. Like, he ha clearly has a system on how he stores stuff, but, you know. Wait, did we put it in the magic bag at some point? At some point? Maybe. Who has that right now? This is not, this is not me being an idiot. This is Gobs being a dis uh, disorganized idiot. Well, I don't have it. I don't have it either. I only um, have the herbs that I was supposed to get. Here you go, by the way. I don't think you guys ever designated who had the bag of holding. Abraham has it. Yeah, Abraham has the bag of holding. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> he's the wizard. Yeah, probably. So, Abraham has the thing. Then why is he asking us to find the thing? 
I mean, this just seems stupid. Maybe right. he found a way to dispose of it before it was taken? Maybe. You know, Abram, he's uh, possibly more stubborn than cops here. So. Possibly, definitely. So maybe he just won't admit that he has it. I want to go by his place and check if it's there for sure. Well, I'm kind of... Just to be uh, sure, and at that point, Gobs is just going to go through her own stuff. Because she doesn't trust her own memory. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering what kind of object it is, uh, since he is uh, so intent on getting it that he literally crucified someone. Didn't we get told what it was back then? I don't not, think Not by were. him. He specifically said that in the vault there's something labeled Project XI, and that's what he was after. Yeah, no, but when we picked it up, I feel like we got some kind of... You were told it was a, a glass cube, what appeared to a material that it was like glass, that was one by one by one, that was <clears> cloudy, <throat> but you could see through it. Just, it was cloudy if you did. And you guys will... have never looked at it since. I will also be honest, I didn't really keep track of it. I was more worried about the sudden surge of emotion as well as everyone's well-being. Yeah. Agreed. So as, as Gobs, as you look through your own stuff, you definitely do not have it. No. I, I didn't expect to also check my inventory. It's not there. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely don't have it. I'm gonna go check out this place. I mean, have you checked your bags? You you might have it and might have forgotten. I mean, didn't he just forget bringing it with him today? Like, isn't it just around here somewhere? Mm, I doubt Actually, it. Actually, that's a good that's a good point. I'm gonna go check his room. His room. Yeah. Well, the yeah, room. Well, is also Aiden? Kent's room, but. <laughs> I'll check through my things, though I'm pretty sure I'm... It's not in my pack. No, no, I meant the room Abraham used that is here. Yeah. I know, but you you're still set to check, so I'm checking. No, I'm going to go check it. Do I have to check my things? <laughs> no. Actually, do it just to be sure. Okay. But why? Crap, What's I don't the... know. What's Where? the guy's name on second? That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> Wait. Where did I put that book of herbs that I gave you? Oh. Uh, so everybody checks their stuff, plus checks around uh, Otho Kent's uh, office and are unable to find Project 11. Yeah, it's definitely not here. <sighs> Well, I suppose we'll have to go break in at the antique shop. Why do we need to break in? I don't think he ever locks it. Wait, what? That seems like a bad idea. I concur with that notion. You say a lot of logical things, Talia. It's it's Tala. Oh, sorry. New name. It's okay. All. I mean... I'll forgive you if you forgive that I lost your book. <sighs> All right. All right. So you guys are going to proceed over to Abraham's place. Um, yep. That goes very smoothly, uh, as expected. As you get closer, though, you can see the front door is open. In fact, the door is broken off of its hinges, and it's just kind of hanging there. The bottom hinge badly bent, but still connected as it's hanging open. All right. All right. Um, Otho, by the way, have you seen my sword anywhere? It wasn't there this morning. I haven't touched it. You're well, sure your arm doesn't have it? How would my arm have it? It's magical. 
Try to ask it. Excuse me, Mr. Arm, do you have my sword anywhere? And she's gonna form the little uh, mouth thingy, like a little uh, ostrich beak. No, I don't. You weirdo. Now All right, pointing. Places. Well, I do have the Hopgoblin sword, so might as well use that. The only thing I'd be able to offer you in the way of a edged weapon would be a dagger. Oh no, it's fine. I took the sword off of that Hopgoblin guy. Superior Goblin! <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Remember, Who's the kids, better goblin now? Remember, kids, racism is cool. <laughs> Sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so you're standing there in front of the broken open door to Abraham's shop. What would you guys like to do? Is there any noise from inside? Like the sound Perception check. All right. You do not hear anything, Nate. You do not hear anything, Gobs. All right. I expected as much. <laughs> no, you see, we're running off of Thacker rules. The lower, the better. <laughs> Why would you bring that up? Why would you say that word in my presence? You know, it gives me nightmares. What, Thacko? <laughs> <laughs> Gary Gygax can't hurt me anymore. Gary Gygax can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like rock in my chair. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So, not hearing anything coming from the inside, what would you guys like to do? March right in. Okay. So Please as you the door go is locked. No, it's swinging open because it's been oh. it's been shattered and busted off of its hinges. Oh, um, as as you guys go in, um you didn't think this place could look more disorganized, but it does. It's clearly been uh, gone through and searched. So mm -hmm. what would you guys like to do? Well, that doesn't look good. Yeah, no. Someone yeah, lots of stuff is broken. As 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 disorganized as it was, everything had its place and everything was in good shape. There's a lot of his stuff that's been broken and shattered and torn apart and shelves toppled over and stuff like that. I mean, is it worth it to check if it's here? We can still do a quick do-over. Maybe. Yeah, let's... Possibly uh, right. we know some of the places he sourced the better stuff. Alright, so... I need... Um, investigation checks from everybody who wants to do so. I am going to cast Guidance on... Uh, gobs. <laughs> you fool. Absolute oh, fool. Oh, wait. Why, why did I put that on inventory? I'm sorry, that was still. Yeah, I see, I see what you mean. <laughs> Nine. Okay, so I'm going to give the two people who pass certain things uh, separate things that they find. So we're going to start with Otho Kent. Um, and this is something because you've noticed he's had some oddities and curios before. You notice mm -hmm. sitting on his desk is a jar with some organ floating in it that you've not seen before. When you go and look closer, you realize that it's an eye that's floating in this jar. And the label on it in a hastily scrawled message says, me and Abraham look for, hope to see you soon on the Cortez. And as you look a little bit closer, give me a medicine check. I am not going to enjoy this. Mm -mm. So, based off of what you can tell from this eye, uh, there's no signs of decay, which means it was freshly removed. 
And based off the coloring and striations, because it's just something you naturally pick up, you're pretty sure this eye belongs to Abraham. Oh, no. And the, and the seeing you is in capital letters, and so is the soon on the Cortez. Uh... I'm going to go put it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just about to say, I'm going to go put it in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's I'm one not... of those things. Like, it's been removed, and you can see the, um, uh, uh, the uh, what am I thinking? The optic nerve has been severed. So, it may it's be not... able to be put back in for um, cosmetic reasons, but with that optic nerve severing, it's not. It's not going to be functional again. I still need something to model his glass eye after. Yep. <laughs> his what? Uh, did, they, <laughs> did he? Um, I don't. I don't do this often, but I'm going to eat Kimber. Quiet. Oh wow. Nothing. As as it hits you, what's happened? Gobs, that you, you're starting to realize that whoever this is, that if it is Kimber, they are torturing your friend. You feel a ripple of spines just roll through the arm, right arm, kind of like a shimmer, only it's just pure, like, thorny spikes roll up the arm in a single band and then fade away. You, It's like you're bristling like a angry dog. Um, And you don't, you may not, you, you, you don't really realize it in the moment that that happens. Uh, but after a second, you kind of go, whoa, whoa, whoa. My arm just responded to my emotions. So while you think about that, I want to tell our dear friend Nate what you find. So Nate, you know, kind of tracking, picking up on minute details like that is kind of your thing. And you kind of you kind of skip, because you've been in this room, right? And as in a, even a quick scans, um, you don't have any trouble realizing, eh, this is all of his normal stuff. And there wasn't, a, and you've been in this room a whole bunch, so you kind of skip over everything, and you actually end up in his bedroom, um, which is again disorganized but clean, right? Um, you know, you kind of search his drawers; drawers have been tossed, dumped out on the ground, nothing special there. But there's something that catches your eye, and it's something that you knowing Abraham um, makes it a little bit easier for you to notice that somebody else might not. Uh, but there's above the headboard on his bed is a, a scratched out drawing of Roscoe. And again, Aww. going from where you grew up, this sticks out like a sore thumb to you because you've been looking at hardwoods your whole life. The knot that's in the middle of his eye, because he was scratched around a knot in the wood, the knot is a different kind of wood than the wood that the wall's made out of. And when you press that not it sinks in and triggers a small hatch uh to the right of it opens up where the boards have a seam and Ooh. inside there is a small bag of green crystalline powder and a one inch by one inch by one inch hard glass cube that is cloudy holy crap there it is. That yeah, what is? Cube. Oh god, did he leave another eye? Oh, oh, cube, thank god. Also some kind of uh, powder. I don't know if it's a drug. Powder? Let me see. Does Abraham do drugs? So, you, in your medical profession, you would have run across lesser graded versions of this as a drug um, known, as, known as fairy dust. Uh, this is pure residuum powder. It's uh, 15 gold worth. Uh, so, in its purest form, it's really, it's used to substitute or be used in arcane things, but it's especially the last, th you know, it used to be much more common, but in the last, you know, 20, 30 years, it has gotten hard to get a hold of. So, he probably had that held back for something magically needed, not... This isn't. This is. This is way too pure to be used for drug usage. It's not drugs, but uh... on immediate OD. Um, well, uh, he certainly uh, kept it safe, well hidden. Okay. 
Okay. Now I, I guess we need to know where the heck this person is that has. has so, uh, well, I have a but, note. Yep, there you go. So, yeah, the note says, me and your friend look forward to seeing you soon on the Cortez. Uh, I would like Gobs can do this one with advantage. Otho can't. You can do this as a straight roll. I need history checks from you two and you two only. Because locals? Because locals. You said the history. Yeah. Awesome. So, Gobs, you remember this because you were actually, uh, you, you saw the ship come out of dock. So there was a very large shipping vessel called the Cortez uh, that it, this would have been like a week or two after Otho, you made it to the city. So it's been a while since this happened. Um, so you weren't quite in touch with everything. Uh, so you didn't, that's why you didn't hear it. But Gobbs, you actually went down. This is when you were a bit, a little bit younger and still had some spunk and optimism in your eye. And you liked going down to watch the new ships take their shakedown cruise. So on this ship, as it rolled down on its shakedown cruise, it got a little bit to the southwest and hit something uh, and tore a big hole in it. And then um, a couple weeks later, when they went out to try to salvage it, there were actually some type of giant crabs that had taken over um, uh, the ship. And it ended up being dubbed too dangerous to get back. Or to, to salvage. So it's just, it's stuck on a reef out to the southwest a little bit. Um, with a big hole in the side of it. That's, that apparently crabs, a, lot, a whole lot of crabs live there now. Hmm. I know what that place is. Um, really? It, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a big old boat that went aground. Well, it's, it's, Pseudo sank, but it's sort of stuck on something, so it's like still above ish water ish. That's Is the it easy to reach? Um, that was the correct understanding of the thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's only reachable by boat, I'm guessing. Uh, or if you're a really strong swimmer, you could maybe make it because it's, it's about four miles, five miles out. Like, like if you, if you were up on the sales level, you could easily see it. It's a few miles out. You could definitely swim there, but, like, don't. Like, get a boat. If we can get a small boat, I know how to sail it. I can get us out there. It's a rowboat. Well, sure, we can do that, I guess. As, as a note, chartering a small boat's not that big of a deal to take you out there and back. Yeah, it's more money I'm thinking about. We're not that poor. Yes, we are. Better no. I, I am not that poor, then. Let's go charter a boat. Okay. 500 gold. One day. 5,000 <laughs> gold. What? You're insane. In the membrane. All right, so what are we doing? We're going to go charter a boat. All right, so you are guys are headed down. Head over there. What else should we do? I, I mean, I'm just. Should we prepare anything? Like, we don't know what we're going into or how many. I mean, I want to go there and kick his ass. Do you. Do... <laughs> Do you have any good idea on how to do that better? What if there's an entire crew of, like, 30 men? Then we murder them down to the man. I mean, it's either we go and help Abraham, or we die trying to help Abraham. We don't exactly have a lot of muscle behind us. Talk about but... murder quite easily. That's a bit spooky. Are you yeah. seeing what he's doing right. to him? I look at it this way. I look at it this way, Nathaniel. A doctor is someone who helps get rid of sickness in a city. People who treat other people this callously and is willing to get, do this for simple profit are a sickness. 
to be removed. There's a reason there's not a lot of crime lords that go to my clinic. <laughs> I mean, they yeah. go there once. Once. Correct. I mean, what, what about you, Tala? Um. Like, you're kind of new in this whole thing? Yeah, exactly. So I don't really know. We're not going to force you to come along if you don't want to. But we are open to suggestions. Uh, well, I don't know how strong these uh, guys are going to be, whether it's just this Kimber guy or a crew or an army or... Yeah, we, we don't, don't know, know either. Look, I get it. You just got resurrected from being basically dead. I, I, I understand why you'd be reluctant. I, I understand why you'd be reluctant to go out there. And I understand why Nate would be too, because this is arguably not your fight. No, but he is your friend, and you will help Nate get me back, so... Yeah, but we'd be major dicks if we tried to hold that against you. Like, no, I I do feel like we we have to do this. It's just I want to be smart about it, and I don't know how to be smart about it. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, we time is of the essence. They're likely gonna cut parts of him the longer we wait, so we don't have a lot of time. No. I mean, I don't know if there's anyone we could leave a message to or anything like, hey, we're going out to do X. If we're not back, then someone has something that's quite a problem. I mean, uh... I think I might know someone I could leave a message with. You know, the, uh, the porcelain head that I keep forgetting the name of. What's this name? Caliente or something? I think we burnt that bridge. No, we didn't. The last message he left us with was that if we were willing to work with him in the future, he would still be willing. He was very courteous about our, us being angry about, well, the situation at the moment. It was more understanding than expected. So... We just let him know about this thing as well, then? I mean, we'll have to let him know what it is that he has. If we're about to hand over something that might be world-ending or something, I don't want to hand it over to a madman, even, and I hate to say this, if it costs Abraham. And considering oh. where he is from, he is probably the man who has the most chance of knowing what it is. Indeed. Oh, we, we don't have to explain too much. We can just leave a message about the lead on this uh, kidnapping thing uh, message uh, on the crucified guy and what it is and if he doesn't hear from us in the next 24 hours or something. Okay. That, yeah, the, that sounds like a good idea. How do we get in contact with him? Do we have his number? We have the place he's staying. Oh yeah, we could likely call that place and ask him to deliver a message, don't you think? We could also just go talk to him. He might have advice or something. That is true. Did the news say anything about when this was discovered? This morning, I, I believe. Yeah, it was it was uh just before lunch time. Yeah. Just to uh, try and figure out how long it's been. Well, what do you guys uh, think? I mean, yeah. I do, I do want someone to know what's going on, you know, in case the worst happens. Do you have anyone to tell? Yeah, we do have one. 
Yeah, he's a he's a good guy. A little odd, but then he fits with the rest of us. Actually, uh, should we try and call the place, see if we can just call him? Like, his room? That might be quicker. Well, sure. I'm going to see if I can find the number for the place he's staying. Yeah, he's staying at the Cardinal Rose. That's not a hard number to find. And it's Cherietto, that's his name. Correct. Um, and he's not, he's not told us he's staying under an alias or anything like that. No, he, he's not said anything about that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to call their main number. Hello, Cardinal Rose. This is Stephanie. Hello there. Um, I was hoping to speak to a Charietto. I know he's at the place. I don't exactly know the room number, though. Any uh. chance you can patch me through? Uh, well, I mean, I can, but Mr. Charietto, uh, stepped out this morning and hasn't returned yet. Can I take a message, or for him? Um, yeah. Uh, can you tell him we're following up on the story from this morning? Uh, the one that was on the news? The kidnapping thing? We're investigating oh, for him. You guys are investigators? Well, that's neat. Uh, you know, okay. doing, doing a bit of legwork. Um, and, anyway, and, and, and who should I tell him called? Um, you can tell him that Oth, uh, Otho Kent and his, and his crew uh, called. He'll know okay. who is. All right, sounds good. Anything else I can do for you today, sir? Or ma'am? Um, no, just have a wonderful day. <laughs> it's always a wonderful, wonderful day here at the Cardinal Rose, but you have a great one as well. Thank you. And they hang up. Uh, he's not even in. Huh. By also, the way, well um, done. What? Your, your sure. phone courtesy. <laughs> oh, uh, well, they, they're they working customer service. They deal with shit. Um, no reason to be mean to them. Mm. Speaking of which, your customers are very mean. Um, Some of them are. Also, we have, you haven't answered the phone for a month. And then several mm. days. They're angry. I know. I did warn you, though. Either way, um, also, if I mentioned your name, because you're like, sure, semi public, and probably the most level headed one of us. And if anything goes wrong, I am the only one with an actual work license. Yeah, that too. I'm oh just an God. intern? We're all interns. Mm hmm. And that's the main reason I can keep you employed. Right. right. So let's go see if we can find a boat. Yeah, sounds good. All right. We're starting to get around uh, late afternoon. Um, again, Gobs, because you've been here the longest, you know this stuff. Um, dock number eight, which is right down here, as the map is pinging, um, is it, it. Oh, there we go. I see it. Uh, this is where, um, like, the locals charter, like, uh, short fishing voyages, that kind of stuff, If you know, that kind of thing. So, it's smaller boats, um, usually no more than two or three crew, uh, not meant for, like, long voyages out at sea, but uh, just local putting around stuff. Okay. Gonna head down there. Oh, good. It's not it's not difficult to find a ship that's just kind of there. Um, you find a a, a ruddy looking uh, human uh, captain. Uh, his his ship is just called the Squall, uh, and he's willing to to do the trip. He goes, "What do you, you know?" He he kind of questions, you know, why on earth are you going out there of all places? Uh, oh, and he says, um, "What?" A... You see those two there? She points towards Nate and Tala. Um, come down here. They like. You know, young sweethearts from back in the day. They sort of started dating out there way back when. You remember when it was just crashed and a bunch of kids were out there? Uh, yeah, he's uh, thinking of popping the big question out there. <laughs> On a ship that's ship. rusting out in the ocean. Uh, look. Hey, look, it's... What's it called? <laughs> you Nostalgia? kids are freaking weird. Well, they are. We're just there to make sure they don't, you know, fall through the floor. All right, so here's the thing. 
I can get you guys close, but I can't get all the way up there because of the the reef. So I can get you within a couple hundred feet of it, but you guys, if you're wanting to get on the ship, you're going to have to swim the rest of the way. We just came in. If you're wanting us to go back out, when are you wanting to leave? Today? Um, as soon as you can do. I need an hour to get ready. It's five gold for the rush, one gold per day. All two right. day minimum. All right. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to hand right. him 10 gold while trying not to laugh and say, he has it pay. Is it because of the reef or because of the cargo? <laughs> yes. Well, well, whatever you consider. The answer Fair. to that is yes. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Speaking All of right. which, how big is the room below? Like, can we fit a camera? <laughs> <laughs> no. Stop it, cops. Okay, okay. T t T take your time, good sir. We'll we'll be ready when you are. Um, I just got to get some fuel and get some of my deck hands to clear some stuff out. It'll just be me going out there with you. That's perfectly fine. All right, I'll see you in an hour. All right. Yes. Okay. Anything you guys want to do in the next hour before you guys get on the ship? How did you manage to get the ship? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> And why is oh, he wow. laughing so much? Don't worry about it. I have my ways. It's <laughs> still a good joke. Sure. <laughs> why is he oh. foaming at the mouth? I feel like that is a bad thing. Um, lizard folk does that. Laughter is unnatural to me. It's called roaming. Right. Sure. What? <laughs> That that is a lot of money, mate. That's fine. <laughs> I can't possibly take all that, Pip. Sure you can. I have plenty more. It is part of uh, what I've worked. <laughs> exactly. Gobs, remind me never to have you write my PR campaign. What's a PR campaign? Public relations. Oh, I, I've been doing that all day. I, I saw you didn't have like a, uh, like a beholder page, so I put one up and I've been posting there all day. What's a beholder page? Let me show you. Twitter. <laughs> oh. I've been, I've been tweeting medical memes all day. Instead of tweets, they're just called rays. <laughs> <laughs> Just I thought just eyes all day, and they're all bad. <laughs> oh well, uh, this, this is awareness. So, over the next hour, what all is there? Anything specific you guys would like to do before heading out there? Not personally. Do you need to buy anything, uh, Tella? I mean, I'm just gonna lose it anyway. <laughs> so not right now. Just wrap it on correctly. I'll talk you out. Buy a rope around it, tie it around a finger, then you won't lose it. Sure. Or grow a creepy fleshy hand that won't let you throw the sword away and then loses it the very morning I need it. She sort what? of talks into the palm. Yeah, that thing's creepy. Correct. Yeah, try wiping your butt with it. It gets real weird. It does, it does make for a deep cleanse, though. <laughs> Felt it in my sinuses. If that hand has been there, then I feel even more uncomfortable with what it did to me. Remind me to buy some more soap. <laughs> I, I clean it every day. <laughs> I've got to teach uh, you how to do a real hospital sterilized cops. Please do. I will. I mean, that sort of alcoholy liquid, I tried tasting it. It doesn't taste very good. It must be one of those things you're supposed to apply to the neck, right? Alcoholy things. Yeah, you know, the gel like thing. Oh, the gel. Did you try and eat. The hand sanitizer. I thought it was your booze. 
No, I mean, I do have medical alcohol, but that'll literally kill you if you drink it. Oh, How is she alive? Does that, does that explain why I can't see out of my left eye anymore? Oh, no. <laughs> How much of it would theoretically be safe for a person to drink? I mean, best case scenario is blindness. Okay, at just theoretically, at how much of it does that kick into effect? You know, drink the hand sanitizer instead. That still has alcohol. It'll taste bad, but it won't kill you. No, no, no I have reasons for asking this. Theoretically, how much is bad? <laughs> You've been drinking it, haven't you? Uh, give me a con save. We'll see how bad and, it's been for you. And theoretically, how bad is it if you drink more than that? <laughs> All right. After the, after you guys hang out, you get some sandwiches, some kind of food and, and rations to take with you. Um, I'm not going to say that's going to cost anything. It's just you guys are just doing stuff. Uh, you get back on the ship. The captain's like, all right, it'll take us till just after sundown to get there. Are you wanting to go on at night or are you wanting to anchor up until morning? I think they're planning on like spending the night. Okay, so you guys are going to jump what? off the ship and swim to the wreck at night. Yes. What? You kids are friggin' weird. I'm glad you paid up front. And then he starts, he guns the motor, so the motor's too loud, so you don't, you kind of hear uh, Tala's what, but it gets cut off. <laughs> um, so it doesn't take too long uh, to get out there, because it is only a couple miles out, and this is a, a boat. Think of the boat from Jaws. It's very, very similar to that boat. Yeah, we're going to um, need a bigger boat. Well, your butt's not that fat. Um, <laughs> anyways. Uh, the, uh, you, the boat from African Queen. I've not seen that movie, so I can uh, neither confirm nor deny the size. Damn it. But, but, but yeah, the, the, the weather's not bad. Um, you know, it's not, we're, not, we're not doing a Gilligan's Island thing here, and the tiny ship is not going to get tossed around uh, for its three-hour tour. And, uh, you, you know, he gets you guys pretty close uh, and drops his sea anchor a little ways out. Um, so you've got about, you can see the ship even in the dark because uh, it is so big. And the guy turns on all of his running lights and points them onto it. So you can see uh, the ship is leaning to the right, which I believe is the port, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's kind of leaned up there. You can see this big hole gashed in towards the back uh, starboard side of the ship. Uh, as it's sitting up on, you can actually see coral and the reef sticking out of everything. He goes, well, this is close as I can get you uh, without running the risk of uh, ending up stuck out there myself. So, um, I guess you're swimming the rest of the way? Yeah. Um, yes. Wait, what? Are we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so we Nate, he puts his arm around you. He goes, now listen here. I'm not saying this from any personal experiences or anything like that, but salt water going into certain places can be very uncomfortable. He hands you a bottle of fresh water. He goes, make sure you and your lady folk clean off the nethers before you start doing anything. It'll burn wow. like hell if you don't. Oh, whoa, and whoa, whoa wait, wait, what? what? And then he turns around and walks back up to his, he goes, I'm going to sleep. Oh, and he goes, hey, uh, you, and he tosses you a flare gun. Gobs. Yep. You know, shoot off a flare whenever you're heading back so I can turn on the lights and be watching for you. Not it. It's just point and click, right? No primer. Yeah, at the sky. So not at the boat. Got it. No. Desperate times call for desperate measures? Ha! Huh? <laughs> Use it that. against someone? Give, 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 it, give, give it here, Gops. Okay, you get it. Thank Bye. you. What is going on? I'm going know. to be swimming. Why? But why does he want us to? What? We can discuss that later. Anyways, if anyone's uncertain of their swimming capabilities, I am an excellent swimmer. Why didn't we take the boat out there? I, I mean, I'm honestly kind of uncertain because I used to swim one armed. Well, oh, anyways. Speed. I don't exactly know what to do with this one. Just just let your second arm hang about and use only the one arm so you still swim like you used to. Good advice. I'll do that. 
I'll try and mirror. You could try that, but if you start sinking, just default mode. Anyways, any of you who are not certain in how well you swim? I mean, I've been sleeping in water for a while. You'd think I'd grow fins and gills and such. I think I'm okay. All right. Then I would be the only one growing new stuff on my body. You were going to didn't grow them. I'm going to keep pace. And I'm going to swim behind the rest of you. And before you roll a what? <laughs> Doesn't matter, I have a swim speed. We'll see how well I swim nowadays. It's been a while. All right. So, anybody who does not have a swim speed, go ahead and give me an athletics check. Wait, athletics? Oh, no. <laughs> Swimming is athletics. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> and see, this is why Ofo chose to swim. Swim behind swim. people. <laughs> Nate, go ahead Nate. and give me another roll as as you get in and you go, oh crap, I'm wearing my armor. This is a terrible <laughs> idea. What am I doing? And uh, you end up needing help from Otho Ken. So since you are getting the help action, go ahead and, and give me another roll. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 oh, it's a it's a bit of a struggle uh, to get him there, Otho Kent. Um, All this fur, but yeah, after after about two hundred meters, uh, you guys do start to be able to put your feet on quote unquote ground. It's built up coral, the coral reef, and I want perception checks from everybody as you guys get up on the water and start to head towards the breach in the hole. Can I just say that Tala is very distracted by the coral and wants to ex- inspect that? So she's just stuck doing that? Yeah, you can do that. Okay, great. Just a reminder, I have perfect vision in the dark. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you okay, Nathaniel? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You're so not supposed no... to swallow the jellyfish. Do, do, you, do you know how to do the Valsalva maneuver? The what now? All right, so you hold your hand, and I'm going to tell Nate how to do it to get the water out of his brain. Brain? Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so also, Kent, as you're doing that, you do hear the faint clacking of something hard repeatedly tapping on metal uh, coming from inside the hole. I am hearing and breakfast. And not just one set, you're hearing a bunch of sets of it. Fellas, I can hear it. Breakfast. Yeah, that was Didn't we have breakfast already? Tala, there are large crustaceans in the boat hall. I was trying to make a joke referring to my tribal uh, heritage. Oh. Sorry. Well, Don't be sorry. Great. All right. Well, this is um, going to be interesting, I believe is the right word. Um, all right. So, who would like a map? Me. Yes, please. So, as you guys begin to head towards the busted out portion of the hole, and you peek in, you would see this. And Crab let's go ahead and put some people Crab on the board. Crab tastes like people. What? what? Why did Nate's not come through right? Crab people. Crab people. Looks like crab. Tastes like people. It's Nancy. Nate, can you pull your token out? Because it's not behaving for some reason. Sure. I can't select my token. What the heck? What happened to your token? Now that is a sexy man right there. Yeah, <laughs> his head is not even <laughs> attached to his body. One sec. Look at those shoulders. I love the Rayman look. He's so rounded. 
That's a barrel of a chest right there. <laughs> Such a circular face shape. It's wow. The Salt symmetry boys features. We got the chest. See, see no, if you mind. can uh, move your token now, Tala. I can. Why is there two gobs? Because mm. we you. <laughs> Only one gobs, please. All right. And as there soon as you walk one. in, the crabs start clacking their claws aggressively. It. And it's going to be initiative time. <gasps> My first combat. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking course. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. The Just... signs of things to come. Oh, wow. Yeah. You guys, this bodes very ill. I'm looking forward to eating all of them. No, no, you're just getting them out of the way early on unimportant rolls. It's fine. We're gonna Nathaniel, be fine. we could sell these at the market. Oh, yeah. Aren't these just like... Bugs and spiders, but from the ocean? Have you never eaten crab, Gobs? No. It's delicious. They look gross. You should they try them gross. broiled. Tastes great. I'll show you how to prepare them. Pulls out chef knife and, fry chef knife and frying pan. Oh, also, Stand back, let me show you how it's done. The best All the way to eat them is being uh, violent, so you'll like that. All the crap's right now. Why do I hear boss music? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the, it's just the theme to Cooking Mama. Yeah, so, so so there are six large crabs and one gigantic crab in the back. Um, all of this is kind of built up, like with detritus and stuff like that, as they've been making this into kind of a nest for them. Over here to the left, just to point this out, these are like this is a ladder that goes up to a raised platform. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And these are two unsealed doors, but these are like your uh, your doors you would seal in case of like having a giant boat wreck. Um, and you can't see this, but this is one of those circular stairwells that goes up. Mm. Cool. Alright. Yep. Nate! What would you like to do, my man? Oh, also, real quick, before combat starts, just to so, see if anybody notices it, perception checks, based on vision, please, everybody. Okay. Make, no. Makes sense. Oh, for Kent doesn't have dark vision. Yeah, so Tala would see this. Mm -hmm. Right here, on the roof, Yeah. you see the metal that makes up the roof, which is the floor of the level above you, has a dull red glow to it. As if it was very hot. Hmm. But, yeah, Nate, what would you like to do, my friend? Nate has superior human vision. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, uh, how well is he seeing these? Um, it's pretty dark in here because it is nighttime and, um, it's a fully enclosed environment, so I'd say it's poor light or dim light at best. So disadvantage. So it would be disadvantage for you. That is correct. At least until we get some light on them. Let's just. I will uh, shooty bang bang close this crap. All right, shoot that crab. Such crap. That hits. No, no, no. Oh, disadvantage. That does not hit, I don't think. Let me look. Yeah, unfortunately, your your arrow doesn't hit as true as you want it to, and it skips off the top of its shell and clatters across something back behind it somewhere. After the attack, hey, do we know if they're hostile? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Nate, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, for now, actually, no. All right. Otho Kent, this is your turn. All right. Otho Kent is going to reach in to his pack and grab a glow stick. Fuck yeah. Whoops. Didn't mean Tactical to link that. Ignore Apparently it. the glow stick casts blur. I wanted to expand it to read it. Well, I can read and, it here now. And then I shall use my action to snap it. So I Otho Kent can to see what the fuck's going on. Excellent. And then I am going to step a little bit forward to make sure they don't get to Nate. Uh, there we go. And that shall be my turn. All right. Crabius number one is going to move. <sighs> I wish we could see their name, t- their titles. As long as it's not crappy lawn, then we'll be okay. And now he's going to dash. To that crap. A... crap. And that's the end of his turn. What a dashing fellow. Make a little crappier. Big crabby boy is moving. He's also going to scuttle very quickly. And make it to there. Our next crab's turn. Ooh, he's going to get to the Otho Kent. And he's going to try to pinchy pinch. (gasps) No. Don't pinch me. Oh, pinching the lizard. That is a nat 20. He's going to get mad pinched. You are going to take seven points of damage. Ow! And you are grappled as he pinched you with his claw and now he's holding on to you which one was that <laughs> that was that okay. one yep uh, at least having just zero movement speed is not too bad it was this one point okay he's gonna move over to there as they begin to charge best. Are they foaming at the mouth? And now it's go. Gob's turn. And let me fix our camera. Okay. Just going to wait with doing stuff then. All right. You're good to go. Okay. I'm going to cast a spell right where I'm at. Okay. What are you casting? I am going to cast... Armor of Agathis, upcast to second level. All right. I have a choice in the matter. Because Warlock. Yay, Warlock. So that means 10 temporary hit points, and if they uh, dare attack me, they take 10 points of gold damage. And with that, I'm gonna move up to there going to stand there, and I have my bonus action left. Stand there menacingly. Standing here, I realize You were just like me trying to make history. Okay, let's see. Uh, I actually am going to do a thing here. Um, that crab right there, this one, the one to my left. Mm-hmm. Or the, look at it as the uh, as the eyes sort of narrow in on it, involuntarily. <laughs> yeah, I'd say as your eyes are narrowing in, if anybody can see, uh, her uh, the whites of her eyes actually turn, uh, start to have that kind of looks like liquid, like black ink dropped into water, starts to fill into her eyes and turn black. the The white part is black. Her irises are still the same color. And that's the end of my turn. 
you start you I will also say you do start to hear that gravelly voice whispering in the back of your brain during this. Not not really understanding what it's saying, but it's mumbling something angrily. Mumble, mumble, mumble. All right. Next crab's turn. Chew, chew, chew. Chew, chew, chew. Remember to know if they ever speak loud. What? The arm. If it ever speaks out loud, remember to let me know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's turn. Oh, he can actually get there. All right. Let's see if Gobbs gets pinched. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Another nat 20. Dirt, no. Stop it. No, Stop. Killers. I mean, Gobbs, you take six points of damage and you are grappled. And it takes 10 points of cold damage. It really does not like that. It did just took that amount of damage. As these sort of, sort of black spikes shoot out from the, this misty layer over the body, just piercing it, piercing it all over? Yep. Yeah, it's having a bad day. It's about to get a lot worse. I don't think I will ever get used to that. Goes to there, and that's the end of his turn. Tala, it's your turn. Oh my god. Um, I am going to use my bonus action to wild shape into a dire wolf. Oh my god. Oh, woo. Indeed, I will. A woo. I, I don't have a dire wolf token <laughs> immediately handy. That's fine. But you were not prepared for the druid wild shaping? <laughs> you did not have literally every monster in the monster manual at the ready? Nope. Aw, that is sadness. But understandable, too. Yeah. Alright, and what would you like to do now as your wolfiness? Uh, I am gonna run into the fray! Okay. And bite this one. Alright, bite away. And if I'm not mistaken, because my allies are within five feet of it, I have advantage on the attack roll. Because mm -hmm. pack tactics. Pack tactics. Yep. Attack right. pack tactics. Back, back. Rar. Wow. Nat twenty. Very nice. There you go. <laughs> um, nom 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 nom. Delicious. Um, you also do not need a ration today because you literally eat a crab. Oh it, yes, it, that absolutely. that was the thing. Otho can said they were delicious, so I'm eating it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's dead. And consumed. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, that's the one I had cursed. Yes, that is the one you had cursed. Well, that's for nothing then. Don't you heal when it dies? Yeah, I haven't taken any damage. Yes, you have. You got. You the have. The temporary he, he hit had, points took damage. He, he had oh. armor of Agathis. If I'm oh, allowed man. to heal my armor of Agathis, I'd like to do that. Uh, no, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought your armor was gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have taken the other one. Right, what would you like to do now? Uh, or is that it? That is it. Because I don't have multi-attack or anything. So, yeah. All right, Nate. You can now see all of these guys okay because of the glow stick. A little disappointed that there's no hard, uh, you know, no house beats going on. You know, you can't rave out properly. But you can now have a fight properly. Yeah, there's nothing about uh, minimum. Minimum range? As long as it's not in melee, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, just making sure. I don't ever really plan out. 
Uh, they're I very wanna... simple. What? Uh, just that they're very simple to play. There's not a whole lot of rules about them. It was more to reassure you that you're doing it right. I'm gonna shoot this in the back of the face. Alrighty. And no longer at disadvantage. And... <laughs> Sharp shooter. No. Yeah, unfortunately that does not hit. So, once, 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 once. You're trying to aim for a crack between the armor and you miss a little bit high and it skips off of it. Thankfully it doesn't hit Tala, but sticks into the sticks into the ground just past her. Well, this is starting to suck. <clears throat> Anything um, else you'd like to do? I'm gonna cast Humdus <laughs> On the wolf. <laughs> Okay, and who are you counting, I, casting it on? On the big one. Okay, I need to look at something real quick. I didn't mean to uh, click damage. It is I need you to roll a d20. Okay. Why? I said I did. Alright. As far as you can tell, Hunter's Mark was applied just fine to the large crab. That is my... Okay. Alto Kent, it is your turn, my friend. All righty then. Alto Kent's got to look at the situation and then not uh, Yeah, Alto one... Kent's got crabs all over in all the places he doesn't want. Yeah, that's why he's got to say one word. Yep. Burn. Mm -hmm. These crabs roasting over an open fire. <laughs> Crawfish <laughs> nipping at your toes. Um, Radiance. Is it just a bunch of like um, magnifying glasses and the sun above them? Yes. No, it's heat lamps. <laughs> <laughs> So all of them have to make it? Yes. Well, they have to try, and if they make it, they take no damage. Plus two. Plus zero. Okay, so... And there are... Each creature you can see... Yes, range three crabs. Four. Yeah, range five feet, so it's those three that are right next to you. Okay. Yes. That's... First one does not make it. Beautiful. Second one does... Third one does. These rolls are stupid. So uh, I'll let you pick which one you want it to affect. Well, I'll just go for the one on the left. This guy? Yeah. He takes two radiant damage. Word of radiance. Oh. And you know, since I did say that thing earlier... I am uh, going to use one of my special, unique abilities. Uh oh At least I think item, I can. Item in the nose. I'm just making sure. Uh, that's a bonus action. Yeah. I'm going to use Hungry Jaws on the crab to the left. Go for it. Yeah. Hey. So. I am terrible with melee weapons, by the way. Ha! Yeah, unfortunately, his shell is just too hard. You almost chip a tooth trying to bite into him. Ugh. Urgle! <laughs> kind of sad I can't use sticks on these. <laughs> they would be a lot better. <laughs> oh, that's my turn. Excellent. Uh, da -da 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 -dum. Hungry Jaws. All right, so Otho Kent's done. So now it's Big Crab's turn. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. He's going to come over here. And he is going to try to pinch Gobs. Okay.
So many crabs. Does a 17 hit? Just a moment. I believe it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, that crab little r reaches over, tries to pinch you, and is unfortunately not able to get a hold of you. You know, I think you is... should be happy it doesn't. Potentially. I, st I still have an armor back at this on. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Something very fun could have happened if he hit you there. Yeah, All right, yeah. and that's his turn. Uh, who, which one is this? This one is... Oh, it's there next to Otho Kent. It's the one Otho Kent burned, so he's going to try to bite or pinch Otho Kent. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Yes. Is it another? Are you yeah, kidding? My, that's my third nat 20. Can you stop that? I'm, I'm not doing it on purpose. Otho Kent, you take nine points of damage as a second crab is now latched on to you. Uh, uh, why are you intentionally trying to kill us? This is so mean. I'm not trying. Like this You're is totally succeeding. Gonna, what, what I want to know draw. is where my dice rolls as a GM are infinitely better than my dice rolls whenever I'm playing yeah. Arch. And that's not fair. Yeah, I've experienced the same thing on roll 20. I think it might be biased. <laughs> yeah, same. All right, next Krabby Poo is going to step up here and also going to try to pinch gobs. All really right. cramping my style, Gramps. That is a 22 to hit. That hits. Take four points of damage. And it takes that... 10, correct? Yeah, and that is the last of my armor of this. So both of these crabs that have actually pinched you do not look very good at all. They, they're they really wishing they hadn't. I mean, they're crabs. Their intelligence isn't exactly high. True. What is this? Yeah, int of, <laughs> int of one. Oh, int whoops. Oh. There we go. No. <laughs> Remove pink! Oh. No, at pink. No, God damn it. <laughs> All right. Gobs, it's your turn. Just you got pinched. I definitely did, and I do believe I'm grapp grappled right now. By two of them. That are also half frozen. All right. And I do not have my sword with me, so I think I'm just going to try and punch... Is this a punch or a punch? It's a punch. Okay. So you can go ahead and describe what happens as you attempt to punch. So, um, seeing as she's basically unarmed, she winds back the arm as it extends and grows unnaturally, sort of bubbling in size. Uh, growing to the size of a large creature's arm and then barreling forward. <laughs> Fun. That was not supposed to be with advantage. So that's 23. And I'm targeting that one. Also, there's a dog here. <laughs> oh, it's Tala. It's large size. And, and it was the one on my right that just got punched. Yeah. Boo. Okay, that hits. Yeah, um, I did roll with the rats by mistake, so just take the first 10 and ignore the plus 2. Just 10 damage from the arm. I'll, you'll need to... Well, I don't remember where you were in, in the order. Uh, I had a 3, like if a I'm four. not right. Yeah, I am. I have a 3. There you go. Now I have four. I have one higher, guys. The DM loves me. <laughs> All right. He is very dead. All right. So, yeah, you saw her as she goes to punch her arm. That, that blackish, weird, freaky arm grows tremendously in size and just smashes in with a great deal of force. And kills a crab. 
just splap. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't seem to have noticed. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to do on this turn? Um, yeah, there's, there's one thing I'd like to do. Bonus action. Mm -hmm. Gonna use that to curse that one with hex. A big one? Yeah, big one. Okay, roll a d20 for me. Okay. Well. Alright. As far as you know, it is hexed. Okay. And I do have to specify stats, so I'm specifying wisdom. Since it now has disadvantage on wisdom skill checks. Not saves, not attacks, just skill checks. Okay. And that's my turn. All right. Okay, Otho can't get and pinched. Again? <laughs> yeah, he's got like three crabs around him. Yeah. And they miss. It's the end of its turn. The hurt crab next to uh, next to you, Gobs, is going to try to pinch you. Yep. Yeah. That is an eight. It is not That's pinched. Not hit. Wishes to pinch. Cannot pinch. And then Otho Kent's getting pinched again. And they miss again. Tala, it is your turn. I'm going to try and eat this one. Okay, give it a shot. See what happens. Sure. Still at advantage, back deck tits, and uh, boo! <laughs> Again? Alright. Yeah, you, 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 eat another nom, crab. Nom 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 nom! <laughs> at least we don't have to think about dinner tonight. Not for her, anyways. Yeah, no. Alright. Um, yeah. Anything I'm else? Good. You don't want to move or anything? No. Nope. For now, I'm good where I am. All right. Oh, crap. Ow. Nate. What yeah. would you like to do? I want to use my... Check here. Okay. Yep. I want to use my uh, planar warrior. See? On this big one. Okay. And I really hope I actually hit something this time. That's also gonna trigger Hunter's Mark. Jesus. So. Let's hope this works. No! Yeah, unfortunately, that does not hit. So again, trying to hit those tight spots, just barely off a little bit, and you hit off of its glittering armor carapace that skips off into the no nothingness behind you. I am not allowed any. That's frustrating. Yeah, you've had a rough time with those rolls. Every single uh, session. Yep, definitely. Ah, uh, well, um... Oh, yeah, as a side note, Nate, um, you've never seen Tala turn into an animal before. This is brand new and probably freaks you out a little bit. Yeah, it's certainly strange. Yeah. But he seems to be having a blast eating crap, <laughs> so... I mean, it also explains why you're not hitting things. You're distracted. Yeah. Um... Otho Kent, have you returned? Nope. Nope. Alright, so let's do this. Let's put a pause on this while we wait for him to return. Everybody take a quick five minutes tops break to grab something to drink. And then we can hopefully finish up this combat. Will do. I have a question. 
You have a question? Yep. Anything I can help with? Possibly. Okay, uh, let me try, just since uh, sound screen probably left. So, if I can help, I'd like to. So, I have Hunter's Mark uh, running. Yeah. That's Concentration. Yeah, that is correct. I have Favored Foe. Yep. You can trigger that as well, because that is not Concentration. It... yes. But when you read the first section... As if you were concentrating on a spell. It is not yes. actually concentrating on a spell. So I just wanted to make sure how that is read. Yeah. Uh, basically, if you later have to roll a concentration check and you lose concentration, then you'll lose both of those effects. Okay. So, so you lose both the spell and the favored foe. But it doesn't actually take concentration. It just only lasts until you lose concentration. That's good. But I would say run it by sound screen just to be sure so there's no conflict there. I know he might read it one way, one way we might read it another. Let's eat some more crabs. Oh, poor crab. You only just saw that? Yeah. I hope it was dead already. Probably. The way it looks? Yes. Yeah, I mean, the way it just shatters, it looks like it was a frozen crab. Yep. Or crab model. Yeah. Or empty or, crab shell? No, or em no, there's eyes there. I I'm more inclined to think frozen or frozen or model. But yeah, yeah, I'm back. Be the shell just with the eyes on it, I guess. Welcome. Do we have John back yet? Oh. I don't think so. No. Uh, but I have a gonna... question. I have an answer. Yeah, yeah you think you do. Uh, so as I talk with Doc uh, here, um, I have Hunter's Mark running, which is Concentration. Mm -hmm. And then I have this ability called Favored Foe. And if you read the first section, it does mention that I am kind of concentrating on it. and need to treat it as if I was concentrating on it. So it doesn't stack? But Dark says uh, that it's not a concentration spell, therefore I can do both. Yeah, the way it's worded here, it functions as if you were concentrating on a spell, but you're not actually concentrating on a spell. So the way I the way I personally uh, rule this is that if uh, if he's if he has Hunter's Mark and this running, if he gets attacked and loses concentration on Hunter's Mark, this goes as well. So basically that they run off of the same, if you lose a concentration check, you lose both. Because it's just say here that it lasts for one minute or until you lose concentration. It doesn't say you are actually concentrating on it. So rules as written, they stack. Rules as intended, they don't. Sounds about right. That so. seems to be what's a f what's uh, what's the intended. Uh, there is also the Jeremy Crawford uh, ruling, which is that they do not stack. Yeah. So here's the thing, though. I don't think it's an issue as things get l as we get later, because you've got so many different things that you'll be wanting to use your bonus action for. Well, favored foe is the bonus. Right, so what I'm saying is down the road, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So I'm not too worried about them stacking. I don't think it's going to break anything. Yeah, also, no, the damage output in the end isn't going to game breaking. Yeah, Rangers aren't exactly the most stacked class. Right. 
Yep, hence me not being worried about it. Yeah, I'd say that, but once I can actually hit something, I have uh, three things that are going on. Yeah, but of those three things, this is the smallest one. It's a D4. Yes. And then when you make it to 14th level, it's a D8. Right yeah, back. Yeah, and that's insult. in this book. Yeah, so... The uh, Bard College of Whispers that Chuggles was at the 15th level uh, Psychic Blades does 86. This one... <laughs> this does 1d8. It's so dumb. Either somebody's speaking Danish in the background or somebody's, you know, worshipping Satan. Uh, Doc is speaking Danish. It's Hello, both. Well, column A, column B. I, I hope, uh, I hope John didn't fall in. John fell into the John. Yep. Johnception. There can only be one John. <laughs> He's having an epic sword do with the toilet. Well, that's just called peeing in the toilet. Only if the toilet is male. Oh. So is Tala slowly but steadily just getting bigger and bigger, or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's an actual token now. Uh -huh. And the dire wolf is large sides, so... Because he's eating crab. Yeah. All right. I ate another crab. Also, Kent. It's your turn, buddy. Alrighty, then. So how are my teammates looking? Fine. Yeah, about as hideous as normal. Except for one of them's a big good boy. Alright, well, seems like I'm the one who looks the worst in this situation, so, uh... I... Also, I think you missed something as a medical professional. I have grown a large-sized arm. Yeah, that's outside medical profession and runs into the world of the occult. Well, so, how uh, does uh, changing impact. into a wolf... Yeah, and I have some more health. Oh, you're stim packing yourself. Yeah, I was bloodied. That was my action, and as my bonus action, I shall do absolutely nothing. All right. <laughs> Stare at a crab menacingly. A big crab's turn. He's gonna try to pinch gobs. He's gonna fail horribly at pinching gobs. It's just Lock. the small crabs that are crit. The big one does not. Yeah, the big one's having a rough time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little crab. He's going to try to pinch Othokent. And he's going to fail at pinching Othokent. Thank fuck for once. So the snippy boys are not snipping very effectively. Gobs, it's your turn. Hey, the big guy here. This one. Mm-hmm. I'm not attacking him. I'm attacking the little one. Okay. Just to sort of take it out. Sure. And it's just sort of just sort of backhand downwards on it. Mm-hmm. Well, that does not hit. All right. Just kind of catch it. the 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 weight of the big arm is kind of throwing you off a little bit, having trouble swinging it around. That's fine. That's As you know, nice. we we do from time to time. <clears throat> Anyways, 
Anything those else you'd like to do? Um, no. Although, those of you at home who didn't follow, that was a penis joke. Mm-hmm. And that is, uh, actually, yeah. Move. Okay, we... Okay. All right. Fair enough. That's my turn. All right. It is now Pinchy Boy's turns. This Pinchy Boy is going to try to pinch... He's really dumb, and he's already got one claw on... You've got to be joking me. Oh, no. <laughs> we need Doc? proof at some point that these are all the same things. What's up? Uh, I meant to say John. I was saying because I think Otho Kent, I think a doctor. Hmm. <laughs> What'd you do to roll 20? This is like the third time I've nat 20 on you. Oh, wow. Well, all right, then. You take nine points of damage. My healing. Yeah. As you get pinched. I swear to God, if Ophokent dies, I'm picking up the character that's literally just fucking me. <laughs> Can you repeat that? He's picking up the character that is him. Yes. If Otho dies. Yeah. Is it so soon? No. Oh, well, it's church hammer. No, it's uh, something I've realized is now possible with uh, Hiliana's Guide to Monster Hunting. Nexus second, knows what it is. Second oh, Pinchy Boy is that one. Mrs. Gobbs. Hey. Tala, it's your turn. I'm going to eat more crab. <laughs> okay, which crab this would you one. like to eat? All right, go for it. Rawr. That does not hit. So, because you're having to reach between two people and snap the jaws, it just doesn't quite reach. No. All right. Um. Mm -mm. Am I gonna move yet? No. I'm just gonna growl. You successfully growl. Nate, what would you like to do, my friend? Nate would like to move. Because clearly, uh, standing here doesn't work. Your footing's okay. off. Alright, you've successfully moved. Uh, let's try this again. Who are you shooting? The big one. Okay. Please. You realize. That hits. Clearly, the footing was off. Well done. Yay. Oh. And that does the plane on warrior damage, the hunter's mark, and we're gonna use favor. There we go. So three seven, so nineteen damage. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine if that credit. Um. Uh, anyways, that's my insight. Finally. Excellent. So yeah, you land a really good shot on the big one. It does not like it. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? I said that. Uh, that's my insight. Otto Kent. Yes. What would you like to do, my friend? Stay alive. Probably a good call. Staying alive. I know, right? Staying alive. That's even just a mediocre roll. I can heal for so much more. Ah. Uh, my last. That is my action. And bonus actions I have none of. Alrighty. That's my turn. Big crab! Gonna try to pinch the little goblin! Oh, no. I believe a 20 hits you. Yes, it does. Big crab pinch hard. That will be... Uh, 
Uh, that would be 13 points of bludgeoning damage. No, I read that wrong. Hold on. That's the wrong stat page. I'm looking at the wrong stat page. It would be 13 points of bludgeoning damage. So still 13 points. Okay. Still 13 points. And you, and you are now grappled by the big boy. Okay. Also. Uh, yeah, I still have concentration on my spell. Good. All right. Anything else you'd like to do? No, it's my turn. I'm dumb. <laughs> is there anything else <laughs> you'd like to do? Yeah. Yeah, you there know. is. Little crab gonna pinch the big lizard. You've got to be absolutely kidding me. <laughs> Seriously, Doc. Or not Doc. Kent, what the hell? We need to count crits. That's At this point, it's like four. five or six. It's the fourth. Yeah. So when I get to ten, I'm going to get a free frozen yogurt. Yes. Yay. Now, when you get to 10, you get a point of inspiration. Wow. I'd rather have the yogurt. Yeah, but, you know, it, it has to be a shitter price. Oh, he low rolled. Uh, so you're going to take uh, six points of damage. I feel like fucking Sisyphus, I swear to God. <laughs> It's just the really curse like of the dude. combat healer. Gobs, it is now yeah. your turn. All right, gonna, gonna try be... and punch. Gonna try and punch the big boy. Worst Ooh, part is, I have great aces. <laughs> Otho's just gonna get traumatized by crabs for the rest of his life. Anytime he sees a crab, he's like, <laughs> um, there. Does that hit the big one? That does hit the big one. Yunk. And it takes a bit of uh, necrotic damage, presuming the hex is on it. The hex is indeed on it. Four points of necrotic as well, so ten points of damage in total. And I'm also, because it is definitely bigger than me, kind of use less fear of the small to add an additional two points of damage. Wait, what? No. Alright, it is starting to look a little rough. No, two points. What? Yeah, the new version of uh, Fear of the Small can be used multiple times. It can be used a number of times equal to your proficiency, but only adds your proficiency as additional damage. Uh... So you get more uses, but less burst damage. That's... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I gave him the choice of which one he wanted to use. Yeah, I went with this one, because I like having... I just like having stuff to use. Yep. All right, anything else? Um, yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to call the bitch. It does not seem to register your insult because it's call, too stupid. Gonna call it a discount. A discount lobster. There we go. Ooh, ooh, it's yeah, that hurts. All right, pinchy boy number one is gonna pinch gobs. If only you had Vicious Mockery. With advantage? Oh, Ooh, that succeeds. And... Boop. Is it Takes... over 19? Uh, yeah, it was a nat 19. Okay. So with the, yeah. it's 3, so it's 22. That does it. Um, so, 7 points of damage, and you are double grappled. How are you? As you, you, they're, just, they're just like... It's like, you know how the cats do the whole, knee, you know, making bread? Right? They're doing that, but they've got pincy, pincher, pincher claws. No more hex. And then the other one behind you is also going to pinch you. Oh. 16, 19. So does a 19 tie yes. in? Tie goes to ties. the defender. Uh, tie goes to attacker. Four more points of damage. And you're now triple grappled. Yeah, I'm not doing too hot. Yep. And that is the end of their turns. Kala, mm -hmm. what would you like to do? I'm a num num this one. Okay, let's see if you pull it off. 
Yep, you eat another one. Yep. Okay. You're not full yet. And now I'm gonna move. Why? Okay. There. Not bad. Excellent. Anything else you'd like to do? Yeah, he, he gets an attack of opportunity if he wants to, but... I think he... But doesn't he I, have I'm, his claws occupied? I was about to say, I'm gonna say no, he can't, because he's literally grappled. He Because they can grapple something with each of their arms, and he's yeah. literally got both of them grappled. So he'd have to release the grapple, which he's not gonna do, so... Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna oh. look back at him for at Pip for a bit. And then look back at the big crab. Pip! It's your turn, my friend. What would you like to do, Nate? Beauty Bang Bang. With Clean All Warrior. Clean All Warrior. That hits. Yay! All of it is force damage, and that means you know warrior on this mark. Oh, the damage! And oh. <laughs> wow! You ruined it. <laughs> so, Nate. Even though it's not the final creature, I would still like to hear how you would like to do this as you kill the big one. Wolf looks at you, looks at big one, and you're like, yes, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it's just uh, no longer that confused by Tala being a wolf and finally getting a... Uh, shaking off the uh, all the misses. Getting some confidence back and then uh, shooting an arrow straight down into the... Uh, the um... What's it called? The... Uh... Gullet, jaws, whatever thing of the yeah. crab. Yeah. Yeah, those weird fish. little tiny claw hand mouth things. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, you put an arrow straight down the mouth, uh, and you can actually see it sticking out of part of the back part of the shell. But with everything it went through, the big crab just crumples and falls over on its side. Heck yeah. You know the ex excited little hops that a dog makes sometimes when he's happy or something? That's what Tala's doing. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Nathaniel is kind of putting his hand up uh, for a high five, but then... Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, she shakes. Turn. My goddamn shins! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kent. <laughs> this is your turn. What happened to your shins? <laughs> They've been pinched. <laughs> oh, guess just gotta look down and then look at gobs and really consider attacking her instead of the crabs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm being pinched too. Mm. All right, Ophokent is uh, going to keep up the Sisyphus maneuver. Hoo ha! Cure wounds. <laughs> Congratulations. And that's my turn. Because I can't <laughs> fucking move. Crab! Crab is going to try to pinch you. 13 does not hit. I assume. Otho Kent? It does not. I have 18 AC. Alright. Gobs, it's your turn. Alright. I'm going to punch the small one next to me. The one that's currently grappling me. Yep, yep. That nice. hits. It explodes. Crabby be gone. No, poor Crabby. Moving over there. Actually, I've got to keep moving. Okay. Oh, there. my roll 20 froze. Reload. And that is my turn. Ending there. Excellent. 
Tala. Yes. What would you like to do? I would like to move over here and nom nom this one. All right, and give it a good nomin. I will try to give it the best nomin. Uh, there it is. Click. That hits. Nom nom. Yep, you bite one of its little legs off. It's not looking like it's having a great day at this point. Then look for appreciation in the eyes of the other two standing around the crab. <laughs> yeah, there's a giant wolf that you're not entirely sure where it came from now running around biting things. Not you guys, but other things. Yeah, I mean, I was behind you guys, so you didn't exactly see it happen. <laughs> Alright, it is Nate's turn. Nate, what would you like to do, my friend? Yeah, little orc. And Nate is just gonna widen his stance and whip out his uh, <clears throat> whip. <laughs> no, no he's, he's gonna whip it good. Do we also get to watch him, Nay Nay? Jacques the Whipper. That hits. And the last crab dies, impaled on a arrow. Whip? Yeah, it was a whip. But it was a wero. All of that delicious crab meat. So yeah. as nom, 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 nom. So as you pull back the whip, the crab follows. It was impaled on it. That is um what? impressive. Hey, Tyler, you okay in there? <laughs> you look wounded. Ofo <laughs> wobbles over with his leg shaking. Tilts head at Pip. Um, Big eyes. Gops is crap. very wide-eyed right now. As the arm slowly deflates. <laughs> <laughs> And Gobs get stabbed with seven points of healing from my healer's kit. By farting noise as the arm deflate. Um, what just happened? I do not know. No, I mean, oh, actually, what uh, happened to the crabs? I don't know, but uh, you heal for two more because I've forgotten to update my uh, healer's kit thing. Yeah, no, Sala, stop eating the crabs. We've eaten plenty. We can eat more later. That's nine. Yay! <laughs> Not I'm just at... you with her paw. I'm at exactly half health. <clears throat> or claw, or whatever you want to call it at this point. Since when could you do this? It's weird. All right, then. Then you'll get a bit more gobs. Only if you can afford it. I still have some spells left. Do you want there me you to... Okay. Thank you. I am going to sit down and look up at the ceiling to see if the red is still there. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's that... still there. It's still plus two, or is that the full thing? That's the full thing. Okay. Then I'm going to go on my hind legs and just kind of... Probably can't reach, but just kind of point it out. Yeah, no, it's it's a good 20, 20 feet up. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just gonna point it out <laughs> with my uh, with my paw up there, like, hey guys. What what's up there exactly? What? There's a part of the metal floor, uh, or roof that makes up the floor above that is glowing red, like a dull red, like it's hot. Oh. I can try and shoot at it. Tala, can I, uh, mount you? <laughs> Gonna lay down in front of Remember, the like, remember the fresh on. water first. You've been in salt water. Let's see if we can reach, yeah, whatever that is. And see if it's hot or not. Alright. 
It's like 15, 15 or so feet in the air, dude. It's going to be very hard to reach. Cops, come over here. <laughs> I mean, right, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm large gonna, size. <laughs> if, 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 if you're going to stand on top of the wolf and have Gob stand on top of your shoulder, I need acrobatics checks from both of you. I'm not going to be a yeah. part of you mounting Tala. I mean, Sounded like that at the harbor you were. I mean, Gosh, don't tell them. You're easier to control than uh, Oath Kent. I'm sorry, what? Uh. <coughs> okay, uh, just back off. I'm going to try and shoot at the red spot. Why? Are you... Do you want to go touch it? Uh, ow! You're, you're uh, mounted, so join me here. Uh, I'll, I'll say... I'll say when you were, as you were kind of standing on her shoulders, kind of reaching up, you can feel some heat radiating off, radiating off that spot. Oh, it is hot. Go for it. I mean, we could also just head up there, but I can shoot at it. Okay, I'm gonna try and uh, try and shoot at it, but I don't have the sword. How will this thing? Uh, just I, like I one of the fingers shoots off, and and at in that direction and regrows. So it's a very creepy feeling. Uh, yeah, but yeah. That's, that's not a great feeling. <laughs> Yeah, you hit right in the red spot area, and it just makes a ringing sound like it would if you hit a big slab of steel. All right. Let's head up there, then. I was hoping it might have been weakened, so that could have punched through it. Ah, I was. How does the dire wolf walk the stairs? <laughs> Carefully. Like any, Carefully. Like, yeah, like any other man, one foot at a time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, um, I'm just gonna narrate through this particular part. Uh, so you guys get upstairs. You look through the doors. What you see in this room is a whole bunch of. Like like everything, it's it's very similar to the room below, but everything is kind of sagging. All the metal work has been softened, and it's all been drooping and whatnot. There's what look like metal and lava, like rock, um, stalag mites. Mites come up from the ground, tights from the ceiling, right? So stalag mites sticking up all over the place, uh, in between you and the next stairwell. And you do see some, like, what looks like red, like, hot molten rock here and there scattered throughout this area. And the upper deck is melted down. Like, there's a big hole in the upper deck going to here, uh, where something very hot was on top and melted to this level. What the, f what the fuck has been going on here? Mm. I do not know. Oh, and there would be a strong sulfur smell as well. Uh, oh boy, with my better smell now. Horrible. You smelly smell. So as you guys go through this area, I, I assume that you're trying to make your way across to get to the stairwell that goes up. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, are we just walking like normal? Are we going to stealth? What are we going to do? So we walk up. Yeah, we're we're going to floor yeah, up. Yeah, so this spot that was hot downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, pretty close to there. Anything peculiar? Um, and, and There's a bunch of that obsidian lava looking rock laying there. Uh, that looks to have little little traces of lava flowing out of it. Very weird. What's the name of this guy again? 
What guy? The guy we're here know. to meet. Oh, Kimber? Kimber, Kimber thanks. We, did we know that at this point, or...? I mean, you guys don't know it's Kimber, but... He's the only other person who knows, that you guys know, that knows about Project 11. Mm. Unless yeah. he told someone. But that's all Nate has gone from Kimber. Yeah. Should we try and, like, call out for him? I want to, I want to call for him. See if he shows his ugly face or I can shoot it. (laughs) Mr. Soundscream, sir, could you put my wolf on the map? No. Oh. Small wolf. Big wolf. Small. Okay. No. Uh, small. So give me a performance check to show how loud you yell for him. Wouldn't that be intimidate? Sure, yeah, we'll go with intimidate. Just... That's fine. 18. All right. And then give me a perception check. 13. Through this big hole, because again, there's a big, big hole here. You can see the uh, citadel, which is where the um, the wheelhouse and all of that is, where the captain stands. You can see somebody standing in one of those windows. That looks roughly like what you'd expect Kimber to look like. Uh, you're saying... S- oh, So uh... you're, you're looking up through the hole, through the melted hole to the top. Right, because the upper roof of this is the deck. And right up here in this area is the uh, citadel where the, you know, wheelhouse and the captain stands. You see, like, right here by one of the windows, a form that looks like Kemper. Okay. Okay. Gonna start picking up the pace then. Okay. All right. I need, uh, as you guys, so are you guys just going loudly? Or are you going, like, how are you proceeding through this weird, melty area in front of you? I mean, given the fact that someone just yelled, I don't think stealth has any form of. I don't think stealth was ever going to work for this group. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as you go through, you notice, again, where that, where that bright spot was on the roof below, it's very hot near there. Uh, so I assume you guys kind of go around that area. Um, but once you get past, like, the melty stuff, um, you get back to the back, and there's another spiral set of stairs that goes up. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't have the map for this next room. Uh, so I'll just kind of tell you, so as you guys get up there, you see a couple things. Um, number one, there's a large amount of blood on the floor. And on the in the right, you see a body crumpled up on the floor. Uh, the clothing looks familiar, as if it's Abraham's clothing. Um, again, that's a huddled mass that'll be off to the right. Like if the the upper level is about the same size as this room, he would be off over here. Okay, mm-hmm. just crumpled yeah. on the ground, and lots of blood all around him. The wheel is in front of you guys, about here. And then there's kind of a console. And then right about here, you see Kimber. But Kimber's not looking so good. He is actually hanging by his neck with a noose as he has taken his own life. As he hangs there. From the distance you can see right now, he does appear to be dead. What would you guys like to do? Skip the surrounding area. Yeah, there's nothing in here but the instruments and Kimber. And uh, if you check the corner, that corner is indeed a zero hit point unconscious I'm missing Abraham. 
I'll go take care of. He's definitely been cut up and beaten pretty badly. Um, you'll notice if you go over to Kimber, you'll notice his knuckles are bruised, like one of his hands is broken from beating Abraham. And the eye was taken out, but it was not taken out gently. The the gashes in the face are very large, um, like it was clawed out. So it, it was not a pleasant experience for dear Abraham. So Tala's job. Tala is going to shift back <laughs> to herself. And uh, take Kimber down. As you take him down, you realize he's clutching a piece of paper in his right hand and a cell phone in his left. Well, I'm first going to pick up the paper. The paper simply says, he is coming. And that's where we're going to end this week's session. Oh, right. great. Interesting. Yeah. Da, da, da. Abraham's gonna have plenty of health when he wakes up. <laughs>